Let's face it, Vegas, outside of the Strip, is a pretty beige town. That is, unless you know where to look. On the west side of town lives an astroturf wonderland, complete with rolling hills, sand traps, and rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. Outdoor mini golf is in full effect thanks to one of the most ridiculous course owners since Chevy Chase ran Bushwood. My name's Doug, I'm a professional mini golfer. I uh, had to drop out of the league after I tore my ACL in Amsterdam. So I decided to build my own course. 18 holes, I mean, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Words bore me. <laughs> Why don't we go out and look at it? Here we are. Doug then proceeded to tell me a little bit more about how the course was built. I, bu I bought this big empty lot. It was supposed to be for an orphanage, but I, I bought it and I leveled, I leveled the place. And why? There's no place to play. So I built it. Then all these kids were showing up, like, can I play, can I play? And I was like, get off my course, you know? <laughs> um, but then I figured, well, I'll open it up. I'll share the wealth. After a few more minutes of idle banter, I challenged Doug to a round on his own course. I accept your challenge. Let me warm up real quick, okay? Starting right off with hole one, Doug had no problem showing me his mastery of the game. And one. Doug offered plenty of helpful advice. You just have to be the ball. Especially on hole 18. Focus. <laughs> After 17 holes, I had somehow managed to hang with Doug and needed to sink a final hole in one for the win. I could sense the fear in Doug's eyes. 